Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your weekly November 2023 tarot reading. This is the next seven days for you, the current person on your mind, any new potential coming your way and the potential of you through Aries through Pisces. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You know, it helps my channel grow. If you'd like a personal reading or you'd like to hang out with me in my membership and we talk about all different topics over there, uh, you'll find all that information down below. So let's get going. I am recording this on the new moon in Scorpio. So you are getting this energy um, right now. And I just pulled the card of your message has been received. And this card has been coming out a lot yesterday and today. Um, it came out for my all signs reading. And it means a lot to me because to me, it's your your intentions have been set or set in your intentions or your prayers or your meditations, whatever you call, whatever you relate to. Um, just know that it's been heard. And when I see this card, your message has been received. Divine universe, God knows what you want and will deliver it. But this is about allowing it to come in for you and surrendering and letting go of how it comes through for you. That can be a really hard process to do. Um, but that is part of, you know, the process of manifesting and, and, and getting the things that we desire in this lifetime. Uh, so also the message, your message has been received. Know that somebody has heard you. Somebody in your life has really heard you, whether they show up and whether they admit it or whether they they want to tell you um, that can be a hard one, too, that wants to come through, too. Sometimes, you know, when we say things to people um, and if we're holding back something that we want to say to somebody, it will show up in one way or another through the way we communicate. Um, we can only hold back so much. And know that we all have our higher self and our higher selves communicate as well. And so your message has been heard to somebody that you really needed to know um, something about how you felt or how um, you, you feel the situation turned out or whatever. And um, you may or may not get the response right away that you're looking for from this situation, but trust that it changes us within. You know that feeling of when you have an aha moment, when somebody says something and it finally lands for you. You finally hear the real message that's coming through somebody's tone, somebody's words, somebody's you know actions, anything. You can see, you know deep within um, something's changing within you. And the same thing applies for somebody that's on your mind. So keep that in mind um, and need validation on the outside of the 3D or to get somebody to communicate back to you right away is, in my opinion, interfering with the process. Somebody needs to absorb absorb things, sit on things, marinate. There's been times I've woke up at three o'clock in the morning and been like, I get it. You know, somebody may be going through that right now with you. All right. It's, it's all about allowing and keeping your intentions, keeping your mind on knowing that everything's going to work out for you in this situation. All right, so let's take a look at what you have around you this week. Um, we do have a lot of, you know, it's, I know you hear this a lot, especially with Scorpio energy, Scorpio season, transformation, change, new beginnings. Um, but there really are times during, throughout the year and times um, in our lives where things just really do change radically for us. Uh, the way we see something in the ne very next day can be completely different in our lives. And there are a lot of shifts happening right now, um, collectively, in the stars, within ourselves, um, evolving if you're on a spiritual journey. There's a lot of shifts happening right now, and there is a huge major shift. And the way I'm feeling it is a huge layer just releasing from me of an old story, an old energy, an old cycle. Um, the full moon in Taurus was a completion of a major cycle in our life of, I mean, for the past two years. And so now it's almost like we're setting the intentions for the new beginnings and what is it that we really want to, to achieve here. And it's about kind of going with the flow, creating and working with this new energy and, and seeing ourselves through it, through these energies as, as things change for us. 
Now, there could be some sudden change. I do see a person of air around you. Um, this could also be an energy that you're, you're in right now, too, as well. Um, where you just feel like you're in your head a lot um, right now. You feel like you're trying to be rational about situations. You're trying to rational. You're trying to logically think through things right now. And um, it's also, um, you know, trying to control a situation with the way we think. And right now I feel like it's really important to um, let go of some of that logical, rational thinking for a little bit and tap into more of the um, feminine allow and receive in and into your emotion, into your heart space. Um, and know that you, you, you don't need to figure everything out at this point. You don't need to figure out all the, you know, how things happen for you. That is what we leave up to God, the universe, divine source. You have the card of telephone. So like I said in the beginning of the reading, you your message has been heard, whatever that means to you. And sit with it for a minute. You know, what message have you been really ruminating in your head? What message have you been telling yourself? What message have you been truly desiring? What message have you sent to somebody? What message are you wanting to tell somebody that you just can't seem to get off your chest, but it, it just, whenever you're in the presence of somebody, it comes through in some form or fashion. All right. We see communication. We see you have an energy of connection around you. You have conversation, getting through to somebody. So this week is going to feel as though um, for many of you that, wow, I'm just get I got through. I'm getting through. We're connecting, we're talking, we're communicating. We see a strong energy around your inner voice this week, your throat chakra. So really, really speak in your truth this week um, in a very loving, compassionate way, of course, right? I, I know Sagittarius, you guys can be out there, blunt and everything. This might be being you, being your authentic, blunt self, but um, in a more uh, heart-spaced way. Right. And something rings a bell this week. So something is going to go off in your head. Your inner voice will speak to you. So pay attention to what you are saying to yourself this week. Something will just go, you know, aha, I, you know, I remember this or I've seen this before or I know this. I know where to go. I know what to do. I know how it's just you're going to get some sort of notification is what I'm hearing, notification, notified, signs, synchronicity, something. And this is when, you know, we don't look for signs and synchronicities. We wait for them um, in a sense. We, we don't even expect, we just, we see them. And those are the signs and synchronicities that say you're being notified in this direction. This is where you need to go. You may also be notified of something important. Um, you may get a notification through email, text, phone, something of great importance that is a big moment for you as well this week. All right. So nice, Sagittarius. Let's see any other energies around you and then we'll get into uh, love for you. Let me see anything that's else that Sagittarius needs to know about this week. I do have a person of air could be ringing you um, a lot of communication. This could be somebody who's very uh, sarcastic, uh, very quick witted and things like that. Right. But very, very I, my air signs are very sociable. So all of a sudden, one minute you might be getting this conversation with somebody and they just chatting away and chatting away. And this is where you may notice that something has shifted in a person in your life where you're hearing them, they sound different or they're saying different things because they really received your message. All right. You got the strength card here. A lot of confidence this week. So I think spirit wants you to really remember that this week, how strong you really are, your inner strength, your will. Um, you know, some things are a little bit shaky right now. We, You may or may not know where your path is headed right now, right? You might not have all the answers, but you definitely are strong and you know that you will be safe and protected and the universe has your back. All right. So the strength card is telling you to persevere, to stay strong and to be confident this week. So so um, that's solar plexus as well. So I am getting kind of throat and solar plexus, really, really self-expression and, and being confident about what you know and what you say and being really confident in your own knowing. Right? You feel a certain way for a reason. Don't let somebody else second guess you out of what it is you think or believe, you know, especially if you're not if, you, if it's it's to your core. Right. 
um, you know, trust yourself this week. And I do have the card of authority. You will know when to make your move. So I do get the word calculated and strategic and, um, and this is the emperor card, right? So the emperor card is, is a builder, it wants to build things, right? So this week you may be getting that call to build something, build a relationship, build a home, build something, right? But you will start to see that your plans, there's something coming in where you'll be making some sort of plans to build some sort of foundation this week. This is the card of confidence as well too, take an action. You will know when to take action this week. So just remain patient, calm. The strength card can talk about self-control with our emotions. Uh, don't overreact this week. Remain confident in what it is that you're expecting or waiting for to come in because it will be coming in and you'll be called to action at the right time. All right. So let's see your love um, energy. So we have the current person on your mind and we have new person potential and I will do Aries to Pisces. A quick message. But this, these cards I pull right now are going to sort of be the overall energy of love this week for you. Um, remember, love readings don't always resonate. Um, the whole story may not resonate. You're meant to hear a message. When something goes ding, that's your message. Sometimes it's not the entire the entire message. Sometimes it, I can take turns and things like that because somebody needs to hear something else. That's part of channeling. So let's see... Um, I do see a strong Aries energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? So some of you may have really strong placements in those um, in those areas. But I also really am just going to affirm here or, or confirm this message. Uh, be really confident and strong in your voice and what you have to say and speak in your truth this week. All right. I do see a lot of lessons around love for you. Um, some of you have been, you know, through the ringer with love, right? I, I know my age group on my channel and I know that um, love can stink sometimes. And I know that, um, you know, we go through a lot of ups and downs with relationships, but that's how we learn to heal and grow and help one another um, in a relationship. This card here is picking up on an energy where uh, as you've learned a lot of lessons in love, you know, you know what you need, you know what you have, you know what to do. All right. And you may be going through a struggle in a relationship right now. Um, and the thing is, is that you already know the answer. You, you've been down this road before. You know what to do. You know what you need. You know it feels good. All right. It's a connection for some of you that w when you get through this, it's almost like you're getting through the final test of this, the, this commitment. Right. You will know if you both have strong enough, because the strength card is a bond that it grows over time. We go through these lessons because that's what love is. But remember, it's also, um, it's got to feel, you've got to know you're truly in love, right? With somebody and that you're both, it's an equal give and take road. I see loyalty. So I am picking up on relationships where um, already that there's a lot of loyalty. There's a lot of loyalty. We will make it through. We'll get through. We'll build something together. We'll do this. We'll figure it out. I've heard you. I know what you want. I, I understand. I get it. I'm getting it. I'm starting to understand what's going on. So here's the communication. Um, and so here's going back and forth, feeling like you're on the same page with somebody this week. All right. Feeling love. You see the love growing here in this card. It's like two people messaging each other back and the messages are all about love. It's all about feelings and emotion, and it feels equal. It feels like I message you, you message me. We hear each other. We get it. We're going. All right, so there's a lot of back and forth communication with somebody that you love this week. Some of you could be working things out with somebody, of course. Uh, some of you, this could even be related to the new person, new potential. You could be getting things off the ground. Uh, somebody could be making plans uh, to get together this week. Uh, with the emperor card. So let's see um, your person, anything else spirit wants you to know about this connection and maybe how they feel. I drink a peppermint mocha Starbucks latte for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> I don't know. I needed chocolate before I started your reading today. I was like, yes, chocolate. Maybe some of you need some chocolate in your life, right? We get the judgment card, right? So making big decisions this week. This is a judgment's an important, 
important time. This is where you're being judged. Your person's judging you. You're judging you, but you're judging from, a, you've got to judge from the highest place, make the best decisions for whatever decision you make this week is going to affect the relationship in the future. The judgment card can talk about a fresh start, second chance. You know, it's one of those major arcana things, but this is a very spiritual moment. This is a very universal change, something going on with the judgment card. It's like, the judgment card will talk about you can either decide to continue to blame, shame, guilt, you know, yourself or your partner or whoever, or make bad decisions, but not based on your higher self. And this is where this is the moment of truth. The judgment card Scorpio energy is all about truth. So this week for some of you, um, not all of you, but there may be a, a realization of some sort of truth. You might get you might get that message that you don't want to hear. All right. And I don't like manifesting in anything that you don't truly highly want, but I want what's best for your highest good. Right. So you may get the message and you may be feeling like, you know what? I heard you. I got I got you. All right. And this could be a blessing in disguise for you. All right, because we do have the new potential here coming in. You might be finding yourself talking to somebody who's really on the same page as you. Now, for the rest of you going back into, we see the loyalty card and we see that, you know, maybe the two of you are making a decision this week to step above and look at things from a different perspective and stop blaming each other for the past. And you decide to, you know what, this just isn't worth it. We love each other. We've been in this for a while or we've been, we want to work together. We really do care about each other. We do really want to be together. Let's make this happen and let's move forward. I have the Ace of Wands. So there's that communication. It could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, but there's a lot of passion in this connection and there's a lot of potential in this connection. And so the Ace of Wands can be talking about maybe this is a week where you decide to bring passion back into a relationship, bring excitement, bring fun, spark things up, do something different than you've done before so that you can restart, ignite this relationship and move forward and see where it goes. All right, I've got the Ten of Pentacles here. So I do see potential for long-term relationship here. The Ten of Pentacles. Now, it may seem like you guys, if this is a you know a relationship that you've already been in and you've been struggling with the relationship, this is a trial. This is testing your commitment. There's so much potential here. If this is a person that's fairly you know new, you've been going back and forth. You can't you know we all have the sometimes there's a lot of bumps and bruises at the beginning of a relationship so we can get to know each other. All right. This is about really putting your minds together and talking about your future and talking about what you both really want for the future. It seems like, you know, you want the same things for the future, but you might not be expressing them in the same way. All right. Or it might seem that you're not wanting the same thing. All right. But we see the potential here of a long-term relationship with this person. I do see the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is telling me that this person or you and, and this person are ready for the 10 of pentacles, but you're also both very independent, very independent, very self-efficient and, um, you don't need any help. You don't need anything. And, and and I it's I heard this once before, Sagittarius. I forget where I heard it, so I don't know if I'm going to butcher it. But it's like relationships, there's something about a person needing to feel needed or needing to feel wanted in a way that they are providing something for you, whether that's the masculine with the um, divine masculine showing up here. They need to know that they are needed for certain things. If you're super independent and, um, and that's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, is like there's a block there from the Ten of Pentacles, from the Nine of Pentacles. It's like, well, do you want, need the same things I do, you know? And then there could be for some of you that somebody just is so independent, they work so much, that work kind of gets in the way. And maybe somebody needs to make some changes and kind of focus on family a little bit more or come back around and focus on the relationship a little bit more. So there's a way around this. This, this Pentacles energy talks about health, wealth, prosperity, material things all right what's more important than that is love so there's always a way around some of these things right here and uh, it does seem like it's just about adjusting making little adjustments with this person all right so making better judgments and let's see potential feelings for you now these cards may not resonate with all of you especially if this current person on your mind you don't have a heavy backstory with all right so 1919 when I had said that, and you do have um, one in nine, 1919, 19, 19. So I don't know what I want. So it seems like somebody may have been, 
you know, not certain about what they wanted for their future or couldn't lay down the laws or the plans or their goals. And this is something that you may find yourself discussing this week. Um, what else about this person? All right. Our story isn't over yet and I want to work things out. All right. So you may have gotten in a lot of fights and arguments with this person or it just seems like a lot of push pull tension. Um, you can't seem to find common ground. I feel like this week, you guys, your message, like I said at the beginning, has been heard. Your story's not over and you want to work things out. So you could possibly be working things out this week with your partner or the person that's currently on your mind. All right. Let's look at um, new person potential coming your way. You may or may not know this person yet. You may be talking to them, trying to get something off the ground with this person. Um, but I do see that you could be talking to somebody who's very loyal and um, is very into you. So this week it does show mutual attraction with that messenger card. And it does show somebody who has the potential to be very loyal to you. So let's see. I got blue and red, uh, red, blue and red. So it could be water or fire energy um, right out the gate. So water and fire though shows a lot of passion and emotions as well too. But you do see loyalty and deep connection here. Let's see your person. Four of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, so you are seeing a doorway open, and uh, there could be you're going somewhere this week, or there's a reunion with family, friends, community, something. There's a major milestone. There could be a birthday. You could be celebrating Scorpio's birthday. You might meet somebody there. Um, it could be anything like that, but you have the Four of Wands, which is showing you um, that you've made it to some energy in your life, a uh, place where, especially the Four of Wands and the Emperor card, which is the show, showing a four here, um, it's showing that um, there is a strong foundation forming, all right, this week, a very loyal, strong foundation forming. I have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is somebody who works a lot, very independent, could be an earthy energy. Obviously, a lot of signs are going to show through, so listen to the qualities. This is somebody who puts a lot of effort into themselves, their health, their money, their finances. Whether they've made it yet or not, they're very, very diligent. They're very... Um, they're very responsible, right? And so they are looking for their partner. I have a queen of cups. So I have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here showing up for you. It doesn't have to be feminine energy, but it's definitely watery energy, like I said. So somebody really does find you very attractive. Um, they might see you very nurturing, very loving, very artistic, very creative, very feminine for some of you feminines. Um, but they definitely are looking for some romance. They're looking for somebody who's more of a nurturer, somebody who is very loving and romantic. All right. I see the Ten of Swords here. So this could be somebody who has gone through a big change in their life, the Ten of Swords. But they, the Ten of Swords to me with all these other energies and the Eight of Pentacles is somebody who has is building themselves back up, is working really hard to get them get their shit together. Um, and they could be going through a divorce or finishing a divorce or finishing a breakup. But I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, if there is somebody else involved in this person's relationship, like say it's a kid's mom or dad, I feel like they work well together. You're not dealing with somebody who's going to be a, a problem. All right. This seems like there's been a lot of healing. The toughest part's over. This person's looking for somebody that they want to start fresh with. All right. And I do get that nine of wands energy, which is kind of like they could be going through that process right now. This is a very strong, big heart um, person, um, a warrior type energy. It's somebody that you're going to see will fight for for whatever they want, whatever they need. Very strong. They may come across a little bit guarded at first, um, but it's easy to soften somebody up like this. They do have a big heart, but they are not going to just dive all in right away. They will open up and the eight of pentacles shows that they want somebody who's done the same kind of work that they've done. And I'm sure that's what you want too. So you do have a potential here to build a foundation with somebody and there's that emperor again. So I am getting a strong, um, it could be somebody who's a parent, somebody who's a boss, if they're, they're working on becoming a boss. Um, four of wands and the emperor cards could be somebody that has gone through a divorce with a family. So they do have family and, or it could be somebody that's looking to start a family. Like they've gone through some big change in their life. They're at a point now where they're ready to start a family. So keep that in mind. 
Um, let's see Aries through Pisces for you. I am seeing Scorpio for you. So some of you could be sad Scorpio cusps, or this could be a Scorpio that's coming in for you. And it does say the number 13. And you know, we are, I'm recording this on the 13th, the new moon. And so uh, setting your intentions yesterday when you get this today um, is a big, you can do it, to, you know, whatever you have the next couple days, right? You can set intentions anytime you want. All right. But this could be a very important day started yesterday for you, a cycle. All right. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces for you. Aries through Pisces. Let's see if I can get. Now, this is for some of you. Um, these readings can play out differently. All right. This is usually somebody who's currently on your mind. Sometimes I'll get like, there could be somebody coming towards you. So I just kind of go with the flow and channel whatever comes through. Only take what resonates. Um, it doesn't always match up with the reading that I did. Um, I know a lot of, it confuses people when they're looking for too many messages. Take what's yours and leave the rest behind. Aries, partnership. They may have gave into temptation in the past here, but it does seem like they're loyal to you and they want, you know, to come together with you. Uh, they they want to work through something. All right. And we have Taurus has a caged heart, um, but they definitely are attracted to you and you're the person of their dreams. Um, but they're damaged. They've got a lot of healing to do. We have uh, Gemini is very possessive of you. Please forgive me. Very mind, very possessive. They might be jealous. They might be always trying to keep an eye on you. Um, they may realize it. Maybe you've blocked them or walked away from them, but they want you to forgive them. Cancer, expect a deep conversation this week with cancer. They may have been distant from you for a while. They're going to tell you why. They could be long distant relationship, but you end up may, you might be tightening things up this week and making something serious. Leo is available, all right, but friends or family disapprove of this connection, so they may have walked away or left you or didn't explain to you. They may feel like the two of you don't have the same kind of friends, same kind of traditions, same kind of lifestyle, um, and so they also may just want to be available and play the field. Virgo, um, they are lo they're in love with you, but there is a third party. Um, it says love potion. Um, so maybe there's something going on in their life. They need to finish that cycle, but they it seems as though you could have a new beginning with them. That's like the ace of uh, cups. Libra secretly admires you. They keep an eye on you. They love you. Oh, my God, I love you. So Libra loves you, uh, Sagittarius. So you may or may not know this person yet. Maybe you don't know you have a secret admirer. Um, I wonder if, if your reading was the one that I got that in this week. Um, no, Libra's reading. If you watch Libra's reading, there was something about Secret Admirer. Uh, Scorpio, this relationship is definitely very protected. You're being guided to a Scorpio, and they find you very incredibly attractive. attractive. Sagittarius is planning on reaching out to you, but they're very jealous and possessive, all right? So I don't know if that's you too as well. Um, anticipation. I don't know some of you if you get nervous or anxious and you get very jealous um, and possessive, it might be about, you know, kind of taming that this week. All right. But I also see some, another Sagittarius that feels the same way. Capricorn is ready to take a chance on this, but they feel like they're not good enough for you. So they may, if they go back and forth, it's, that's the reason why. Aquarius is ready to revive this love between the two of you but there was someone interfering in the relationship. Maybe that person is now out of the equation and they want to bring things back to life with you. Pisces, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This could be your soulmate. So Pisces could be somebody you either know or don't know, or um, maybe some a Pisces interested in you and you're like, nah, not my type. This could be your soulmate. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, but it could be somebody that's not your type at first. And then all of a sudden you realize they're your dream. All right. I love you guys. Take care. Talk to you soon.